So we're looking at a tool here, which is asking the students to order the steps of a proof. And it's a very simple theorem. It's, the, it's one of the first proofs that they encounter. So the theorem says that the difference between two integers is even. And here are the, on the left are the various steps of the proof in some random order. So the student is asked to drag and drop the statements and put them in the correct order. So let's say the student starts with this statement here, which is actually not the right choice. And it bounces back and a little explanation comes up about why that's not the right first step of the proof. So, you know, since the proof involves the difference between two integers, the two integers need to be defined. And it also says that the statement uses variables that haven't been introduced or defined yet. So that's not the right choice. So let's say we start now with the right choice. Let x and y be even integers. We will prove that x minus y is even. And it gives a little sort of reinforcement explanation about why that is the first step of the proof. And then, um, and then it sort of goes on like that. So then the student is asked to pick the next step and drag and drop it over. Again, anytime an incorrect choice is made, there's an explanation about why that's not the right choice and a little hint about what the right choice might be. So the students really have to kind of think carefully about what these steps are saying in order to be able to complete this and put the proof in the right order. Um, and it gets them in the practice of actually reading the, um, the statements and getting used to the language of proof. Because they have to understand it well enough to order these steps, they can't just gloss over the words. They actually have to sort of read it and see what they're saying. And um, and it really does help students not only understand the logic behind the proof, but sort of read them in a more engaged way. So the next step here would be now to define um, these, uh, these two um, integers, k and j. Since x is even, it can be expressed as two times an integer, same for y. And then it goes on to reason about x and y. And the nice thing about this proof is that sometimes the statements of a proof don't have to go in exactly a fixed order. There are multiple orders that are correct. And this tool is flexible enough to accommodate those multiple orders. So um, I could, you know, A, B, C might be correct, but also B, A, C might be correct. And the Proof tool doesn't enforce the fixed order, but will accept any correct order as long as the logical reasoning is correct. 